this is the first for RHOP. Someone has to open the door. And I'm hoping many of them walk through it because these girls are deserving. Not all of them, some of them. Welcome back to Housewives Nightcap. We are so very excited to welcome the Grand Dame, oh, wow. Karen. Welcome. You look Thank like an absolute you. angel right now. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And you're stunning, okay? Uh, Both of you, oh my lord. I'm done. Okay. I don't know, but you are very angelic today. I mean, you're always angelic, but like the white, the. Well, the it's, it's a powerful story. I had to chime in. I dressed for the occasion. If you watch the trailer, Honey, I dress for every occasion, don't I? Yes. That is- I don't miss a beat. So look, if you're taking me hunting, I'm gonna dress for hunting, okay? <laughs> well, listen, Karen, we know every housewife dreams of their own show. That's sort of what, they all talk about wanting oh, wow. a spinoff. And oh, here God. you are, you have this spinoff, The Real Housewives of Potomac, Karen's Grand Dame reunion. How excited are you for fans to see this? Well, let's change the verbiage first. Okay, because it's not a spinoff. It's a two episode special. It's special. See, honey, when I spin off, I'm gonna spin off in a certain direction. I'm gonna know where I'm going. But it is kind of a spinoff because it's like, I know it's not like the special, but right. every housewife wants something like that. You're right, yes. you're right. And, and yeah. but it feels like it's glorious. Honestly, I'm honored right. and um, that I have this opportunity to take you all you know, on a deeper ride into my life and my family. And so I'm really, really proud. But I know that, you know, I am the first to open the door on RHOP. So perhaps others will be able to follow through. So I am honored to do that for my girls. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and we're all obsessed with Potomac. So it's like, of, and of course it would be you to open the doors because you are the grand dame of it all. Okay, okay, if you say so. If I say so. But okay, you got to tell us what can we expect from it because I know fans are very excited for this two-part special. Exactly. You know, that's the thing. It answered a lot of the viewers' you know, demands. They were like, Karen, we want to know more about your family. We want, we want to know who you are. And so episode one, let's just take you there for a moment. I really uh, spent a lot of time producing that with the producers to show you each and every person in my family. So episode one is like a teaser for episode two, because you get to meet everybody, but then you gotta wait for episode two, which is the kicker. Okay. Because there's where, that's where you get all, you know, the, the, the bang for your buck. You get love. You get pain, you get joy, you get survival, you get overcoming, you get shenanigans, you know? Um, it's everything. It, it's just a powerfully warming feeling to me to share that with the Bravo viewers and fans. Um, and it's answering a question. Um, for me, it's a very important project because it aligned at a perfect time in our country when we're often asked not to talk about black history, Bravo allowed me to take you on a black history tour. And I thank them for that because we need to continue to educate and educate we do with this special, but we also do a lot of ooh, heated conversations and shooting guns and uh, ATVs. And yeah, my family's a hoot, but we take you on a powerful journey in our country when it's needed to have this conversation about black history when you're encouraged not to talk about black history anymore so i'm honored and thank you bravo for allowing us this platform to do i'm so glad they did and i know everybody is really excited to learn more yes. what can you tell us we will be really surprised to learn about your family's history you know i i can tease with this you know um Many Black families, you know, don't know their lineage, don't know their heritage. And I'm honored that I was able to take my daughter on that journey and learn with her. I myself learned with her as well, because, you know, growing up, I had great, great, great stories, you know, fables. And I was just, oh, my God, I'm a rock star because she was a rock star in slavery. And I heard those stories, but I had no idea how close to me slavery still continued in so many ways without choices for women uh, up until my father's father, mother, had no choice. So I think talking about those things that are disparaging about slavery, I think they definitely will educate uh, all the viewers on how important it is to continue to teach about history because this show takes you from our struggle 
to our success and our plans wow. to move next, you know, forward next. So it's powerful, but it also takes you on ATVs and, you know, yeah. me dressing for hunting and, you know, you have to dress for everything. And uh, you meet my aunt Val, who is, uh, I think the teaser says it well, pistol packing Val. Um, <laughs> you can't make that up. Uh, those are, she is the grand dame of Sari and she lets it be known. What can I say? Especially, <laughs> I was like, okay, really? Uh, so we have our moments and just like any other family, but we come back to love. So with my daughter to go further and dig into that history and to fill that spirit when we go on that journey, it's life changing. It repurposes your life. And it certainly, certainly reignited the younger generation to figure out what they're gonna do with this farm. And they are killing it already. We wrapped a while ago and my phone is still ringing off the hook because I'm hands-on with the next step for the farm. And buckle up, baby, it ain't over. <laughs> and now that's when we get the spinoff, just Karen on the farm. No, oh, Lord. Yes. I don't know that you could just do Karen on a farm. Uh, a Karen on a farm with like a spa would be good. Well, no, of course. I mean, obviously, <laughs> here's the thing. I look glamping. I'm yeah, oh, glamping is good too. Look, anything's possible. I just know that the first and the second episode will whet the viewer's appetite. Mm. And and that's what I wanted. And we did, we did it beautifully. Honestly, I couldn't be Aww. more proud of Bravo and the producers. I really want to know how your cast members um, have reacted to this. Have they been supportive? You know, I have to say a few of them have been extremely supportive. Wendy, Ashley, um, Mia. Uh, a few of them I've not heard from. And you know what? That's okay. Because all I want is positivity near this journey for me right now. This is about my family. And I love it. My mother used to say, look, if you can't say anything positive, don't say anything at all. I yeah. love my RHOP girls. Keep it going. Okay. So I'm sure they'll come around though. You know, uh, and I look at this opportunity, like I said, I, I, this is the first for RHOP. Someone has to open the door. And I'm hoping many of them walk through it because these girls are deserving. Not all yeah. of them, some of them. <laughs> I mean, you gotta throw a little shade in there because Karen, I know you can't tell us much, but you guys are filming right now. And are we? I, I mean, uh, it looks like you're filming. Sources I mean, say. Sources say we got those Eagle Dad fans watching you guys. Oh, really? Okay. All right. So, what you hearing? <laughs> well, dot dot dot. We are hearing that you and Candace not so good right now. What what can you tell us on that? Oh, uh, y'all saw us at the reunion. Stay tuned. But there is a lot of love there. And so I yeah. I was hopeful, and I think the viewers are hopeful that you mm -hmm. two come to some kind of, you know, peace in this this season. Was that a goal of yours going into this season? I'm into reality. Look, I always hope for peace, but you know, you've got to be willing to receive peace to move on. And, you know, uh, once you give me your truth, I deal with you accordingly. And so stay tuned and, you know, I will move according to how people feel, you know, I'm not going to be kissing any butt, <laughs> you know, but if there's a journey to be taken that's positive, I'll do it. Um, and I'll, I'll take the road to get there. Uh, that's necessary. <clears throat> how about the answer? Was that good? You know, it's just, you know, <laughs> we just need to wait and watch, but okay. It's going to mm -hmm. be for a couple more weeks. No, it's going to be for a couple months. More. So I, if, if we're filming that is that's if we're filming okay. I, if we're fil filming but yeah i'm just <laughs> i know but we i know you can't say much but we know you're filming because you ladies can never withhold from those twitters we see oh. we see y'all on the what twitter on twitter now <laughs> give me some evidence hey, well, and happened? the instagram stories we know you're filming all right okay well, stay tuned <laughs> sweetheart you know oh my god maybe but we'll see, i hope we are <laughs> maybe we'll see next season you and giselle become friends is that is that a possibility you know what anything's possible stay tuned you know but again i deal in reality not you know made up fantasy it's like i feel like we saw a glimmer of hope between you and giselle there's but, always going to be a glimmer of hope between giselle and i but i, I interrupted you you said but go ahead you're a smart girl, go ahead. Well, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. I said but because Nikki, at the reunion, um, Nikki was really, she was good to you. She really took your side. She, I feel like she 
put Giselle in the hot seat a little bit, how she questions your age. It's like, well, you, you know, know, wisdom. I'm wise. You want to look like this at this point in life, just be wise. But no, um, I'll say that Nicki Minaj was phenomenal and she didn't put Giselle in the hot seat. Giselle is always in the hot seat. So she just addressed <laughs> Giselle while she was sitting in the hot seat. Um, and that's Giselle's reality. And Giselle enjoys it though. She's good. You know, she don't care. I don't care. That's why you guys are so good. That's why all the don't care. Are so good. And I'm starting not to care that she don't care. How about you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're so excited for this special. It Thank you. Sunday and there's April 17th. April, April 17th at 8 p.m. Bravo, be there. You get to meet my family. And yes, two episodes. So, honey, the first one's going to pretty much make you mad because you got it coming wait for another week and see what's really going to happen but I just want you to enjoy it and thank you guys so much for having me today I enjoyed this interview by the way 